Well, they're big, they are pesky, and they are thriving this year. It is the year of the moth, and experts say get ready to see more of them. News 13's Chris McKee is live tonight at the Botanic Garden to explain why. Chris? Yeah, Dean, if you're noticing a lot more moths bouncing around your window or your screen door, well, you're not alone. It is a banner year for these bugs, according to the bug experts here at the Botanic Gardens, and you can blame it on the rain. They're here every year. They're just uh, rarely this abundant. It's been about seven years, but this summer, the moths are back in force, hanging out all across the metro. You've definitely noticed it at home, though. Absolutely. Tons of them, tons, yeah. That's, that's very accurate. A resident bug expert. It is definitely a um, what we call a boom year for, well, this um, species of moth. Jason Schaller oversees the Bioparks Bagarium and Butterfly Bee exhibit at the Botanic Gardens. A boom like this, we may not see it again for many years. Schaller says the harmless brown and gray moths are showing up in large numbers across Albuquerque right now after a relatively wet winter and spring. The weather was good for cutworm and armyworm caterpillars. A lot of the pupae that were in the ground here survived really well because they didn't get too cold and they didn't get too dry. As the weather warms up, the moths are hatching in droves. Basically lots of food, good conditions still. You have much higher survival rate than in the usual years. On the upside, it's brought a lot of life to the city's butterfly exhibit. That's yeah, a really cool thing. I've been waiting years for this. <laughs> but if you don't like moths, uh, sometimes they're a little bit aggressive. <laughs> well, there's not much you can do but wait it out. You can expect more moths to come out too on those warm summer nights. Because it's, uh, it's easier to fly on a warm night because uh, they require their flight muscles to be a certain temperature in order to fly. Now, typically the moths live for a couple weeks as they lay their eggs and then get ready for the next round, of course. But you can expect a cycle of moths to keep coming time after time again throughout the rest of this summer. Dean, back to you. All right, Chris. Interesting stuff. Usually moths make a big comeback every seven to ten years. The last influx we saw was in 2012 and before that back in 2003. Yeah. Yeah. It is mothy. Lots to learn. Oh. Uh, it is mothy. It's so mothy out there, yeah, Dean. It really is. All right, let's start with this. Usually when you go skiing, you're skiing at night, 